Now hippos will spend most of their day in the water. An adult hippos can stay underwater for up to eight minutes. So we have to keep our eyes out for them. Now we are going to pass by the river to right first. Then we're going to cross the river. Oop, or drive through the river. Pass by our left. Now you do better chancing hippos on our left hand side as long as they don't get stuck in the river. Uh, again. It's really not fun to get stuck in the river. Especially not near hippos. They are fairly aggressive animals up ahead of our Now we the hippos up on top of in the water and left the large light gray birds of the pink back pelicans. Now you will nest in tree tops and colonies and when they feed, they herd fish in the shell as a feed. One underwater moving and one up with its head up. Bring up the one with its head up. Now uh, hippos that fully submerge, you tend to walk in the bottom instead of swim. Just easier for them. So when they do come up at night, they eat up to 150 pounds of grass each every night. That's how adult hippos can weigh up to 5,000 pounds. Thank you, hippo, for letting us see you. Now, uh, here you come to a very old bridge where hopefully we'll see some more animals. Underneath the bridge, two pretty waterfalls. There's some hippos down there by the waterfalls. But just past the waterfalls and left, they see some Nile crocodiles. Nice uh, Nile crocodiles are cold blooded reptiles. Now they won't sit there throughout the day with their mouths over to these seats. And when they close their mouths, they close them up to 2,000 pounds per square inch of pressure. Now, so now crocodiles go up to 20 foot long, American alligators only 14 foot long. A 20 foot long crocodile, that's as long as the giraffes are tall. Very big crocodile. All right, now we're heading away from the Sabi River. We're gonna be heading up towards Savannah, where I hope we will see many different animals. It'll just take us a little bit to get up here through this forest. Lots of trees, lots of sheep. Feels kinda good when it's hot African sun. Oh, except it's very funny looking tree kind of break inside. Almost like it's pineapps to down the roots in there. Really big tree with all these on the right is the baobab tree. That tree there will store water in its trunk. Long periods of drought will leave us for up to nine months. And that one tree there is really about a thousand years old. That is a very old baobab tree. Now up here we're coming to the Serengeti Grasslands. Now the savannah here stretches for hundreds of square miles across East Africa. It's home to millions of migrating animals. Some of our favorite animals, the elephants, lions, and giraffes are here. This is the wild Africa that we're all trying to conserve. Now the chain close to those giraffes and a lot of other animals up ahead on the right. Which takes a little while to get over there. I hope we pass by other animals on our way up there. Now, uh, here we're going to be looking for some new animals here. These are some carnivores. Now, we look for some painted dogs, also known as the wild dogs. Brown, black, and white. The left hand side is laying at the base of the rock wall. I'm going to set you a better view of the here on these rocks. Left of the tree, really far back against the rock wall, there's a bunch of painted dogs laying down the base of the rock wall. Now in a pack of painted dogs, standing between 5 and 15 adults. I mean that 5 to 15 adults is an alpha male, alpha female. An alpha male, alpha female, they're primary breeders in that pack. You can have anywhere between 7 and 27 little ones in a single litter. That is a lot of little ones. Alright, that's some tall cones of earth. Oh, we have termite mounds. A cluster up on our left, some more up on our right, and a really big one coming up on our left. Almost all the giraffes up ahead. Yeah, termites survive uh, dirty feces. Very impressive instruction for little termites. That's a very big termite mound and a very big trap and up here in our left. I think you're a lady. I know whatever you want. A uh, trap walking up our left hand side. It's going to be a Maasai trap held by its spot pattern. Spots are a little bit more broken up like leaves more than spots. Trap walk in there. Now we're gonna hopefully see a lot more drafts just around the corner of the Hopefully the rest of the tower, that's one of them. We have a lot of here in our reserve, including the babies. 
The white bearded wildebeest are a large migrating herd across Africa each of year. Now, the white bearded wildebeest, also known as the new, spelled G N U, which is the African word that mimics the Gundy sound to me. A dark brown antelope with the curved back horns of the sable antelope that was chasing the wildebeests. A sable antelope are the symbol for the raw they observe because they are very protective of the young ones. Excellent family animal, very good reason to be the symbol. The round by wildlife reserve, so will the beast. Sable and Tope, two sables playing now. Oh, just a lot to the sable and Tope, two small brown animals by Shark White Valley, the Springbok and Giraffes walking up here, really close to us. Yeah, but baby just crossed the road ahead of us. Now, these adult giraffes are doing what they do all day long, they are looking for food. Giraffes leap for up to 18 hours in a day. And they sleep for about five minutes at a time, so about a half hour in a day. Hi, girl, no trying to look my guest yet. No. You be a good girl. No, girl. No. No, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Thank you, girl. Thank you, girl. That was close. Maybe up on the hill in her right. Now, as a male dress, got to be 18 to 20 feet tall. The females, 14 to 16 feet tall, and it drafts to a baby's like these little ones up on her right. We're actually born at six foot tall, makes them tall as most humans and adults on their left eating. That's what they do all day long, 18 hours in a day. They really do eat for 18 hours. That's most of the most of the people watching really all kind of people watching. And eating. Another draft behind us. Beautiful drafts. Lots of drafts, whole power of drafts. Another uh, one up here in our ring side bending down, gonna make it a little hard to see. About a two-year-old boy. And coy cattle between the palm trees up high, long white horns, and coy cattle horns grow up to three to four foot long with up to a 20 inch circumference of the veins. And you might think those horns would be heavy, but they're not. They're actually honeycombed and have blood vessels running through them, extra sort of air conditioning system for them. Now up here, we're heading towards elephant country via monkey points, where hopefully we'll see some elephants and some monkeys. Now we're going to touch elephant country up on our right hand side, going look for troop of mandrel monkeys. Hopefully up on our left. I died amongst the rocks and bushes, just hopefully aren't hiding here really well. Get monkey up on our left walking around. Where you go, monkey? Don't go hide, don't go hide, don't go hide. Oh, you're running hide from the boy. Now, uh, Vander Monkey is our large monkey in Africa, weighs 100 pounds. Blue red face, almost down at male. Makes those color of a monkey in the world, and he is a very big boy back there. Just like Rikiki, the Vander Monkey. Thank you, big boy. Glad to see you. Where'd you go? You're too big to hide. I don't see you right now. Now, don't worry, y'all. If it's right up here, we're heading right towards the main world country. Where we'll hopefully see a lot of elephants. Oh, wait. Maybe we'll go right. What's that say? Road closed. Oh, I must kind of washed out again. Might as well go to the main world country. Oh, we don't like going this way. Oh, there's a boy elephant on the right. I tell you, he's a boy because he's all alone. The elephants in the water of their own, while the females stay in the big groups of young ones. Now you might see him fly up his ears, he's not trying to fly, he knows he's not Dumbo. Actually, he has blood muscles in those ears, don't flap his ears, cool down his blood. As much as 15 to 20 degrees, just by flapping those ears, and he is really dirty. The elephants on purpose spray mud and dirt on their back, it acts a natural sunscreen and buggery pollens. I don't know why we don't do that. Now we're going to hopefully see a lot more elephants up ahead, but we're going to have to go across an old bridge. Oh, I hope they did a better job fixing the bridge this time. Last time I tried rope, that did not work. Oh, that doesn't look very good. Oh, I better go fully, fully across the bridge. Means very slowly. Does look a little scary. I have get a little bit. Use wire instead of rope, but it's rusted. Who went afraid? Oh, that's not good. Whoa, that's not good. Whoa. Whoa. Right, 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 right. Whoa. Whoa. Almost there, almost there. Can we all made it. Oh, it's got there. Oh, you're not going that way. Oh, he's way too scary. Oh, oh so we'll take us up to the main world country and write through some red clay pits. Oh, in red clay pits, I do see evidence of some more elephants. See some tusk marks and footprints in the clay. Now oh, it's over to eat the clay for the central meadows to revive some. I do see elephants up ahead just around these rocks. Hopefully we can get a view of at least one of these girls up here. Lots of elephants up here. 
I don't think I need ever run soon. I have a couple more make me about trees up in a hurry. Left hand side, another big girl. Oh, that's a very big girl. Oh, the male and female African elephants are good those are every tusks. Ah, uh, so wait, those are African elephants because the females grow those tusks. Sit right under her to the left, the really big girl, there's a baby. Between her and the rocks, it's really hard to see right now. Now the model puts in the yard pregnant, are pregnant for 22 months. Uh, when they do give birth, they would do very, very cute, very cute. 313 pound baby girl. She is really little, really cute, really hard to see behind that big girl. Oh, we don't have these relevance. These are wild animals. We don't have names for them. But she's really cute. She gets cuter every time you see her. Now they're helping up here by the water hole, drinking some water. Oh, splashing so salt water now. The road mud and dirt on its back helps to that purpose. Accident natural sunscreen and bucket coat. Looks like so much fun. Mixing the dirt with the water and throwing it on yourself. Get that pink coloring from the brine shrimp of the eat, which she hates keratin, which is vitamin A. When the baby fingers are born, they're actually gray as she color. And Jenny will get that pink coloring throughout the age of two. Now, a big group of flamingos like that is called a flamboyant of flamingos. Yep, they do. Little baby under left. Elephant. Laying down. Really little baby. Laying down right behind my mother. Or is that big sister? Big sister. That's big sister. She's only about five years old. They grow up so quick. So cute. Come on, I'm about to see your baby. Uh, baby will roll around in the dirt because it can't put the mud dirt on itself. So it does that instead. It's really cute. Now, right now, we're heading out of El Country towards the white rhino country. We're hoping we'll see some white rhinos. Now, unfortunately, the white rhinos have put back on and being your speechless team this day. They are still under their horns. Even on reserves like this, hey, zebras, have you seen the rhinos? Zebras on our left. Now, are these zebras black with white stripes or white with black stripes? Very good. If you look closer, noses, feet, tips, or tails, they are actually black with white stripes. Why right, never want to get close enough to check? Zebras look very friendly, very docile. They are not. They are very dangerous. One kick to a zebra can break the jaw of a lion. Very, very powerful legs. Now, no two zebra, no two strikes are the same, just like our bigger friends. Don't worry, those rhinos, no zebras. Hiding really well right now. So, we're good there if they're hiding. Hopefully, we'll see them a little bit further back. Now, up here, we look at some large spotted cats like the cheetahs. Straight ahead of us would be our left hand side. See if we can find them. Cheetah, where are ya? Where did you go? Are you hiding really well again? There's no fun when you hide really well. I'm very good at hiding. We'll see if we are up here. Oh, there you are. You're in there. And see up ahead of us, our left. Laying on the very top of the hill and a little bit lower in the shadows above the bushes between the trees and the bushes. Now Cheetah's on the best little name, almost grew up to 60 miles an hour. I do a very excellent sense of sight and very poor sense of smell, which makes them an excellent daytime hunter. So I'll not stay here too long. Now this is daytime so they do hunt. Now Cheetah can run 60 miles an hour and our truck goes 8 miles an hour. They are way too quick and we are not. Good cheetah, you stay there. Now up uh, here we have to some Kopi rocks. Now Kopi rocks are in the house of you lions. Now lions that lay up there to spot their prey over tall grasses. Now lions will lay around for 18 to 20 hours per day. It's such a rough life for a lion. Lion, where are you sleeping? Oh, hi ostrich. 
Ostrich falling the rhino. Now the ostrich is a bird, does the feathers, but it's flightless, making a run up to 40 miles an hour. That's a very big bird. And we're going to come back to the rhinos in just a little bit. Let's see if we find a lion first. So, rhinos are headed towards the road up ahead. Here we're heading to some large burrows, probably made by a large spring male in Africa, the warthog. We'll be up here in our left hand side, pretty far away in the sun, towards the brushes, some land in the valley. Now, Pumba in Swahili means silly one, and a warthog really is a silly one, but only when they're waking, the rhino's much closer about on our right hand side. Oh, uh, the ostrich tie ostrich. Uh, the white rhino is not actually white to begin with. Right now, they're really dirty. Our uh, real color is gray. And real name is white rhino, which means white. They're white red mouths. It was just mistranslated into white. Now, a big group of rhinos like that is called a crash of rhinos. There's an ostrich across the road behind us. Another ostrich on the right, and buried by the ostrich eggs. Very big eggs on the right hand side. The ostrich eggs weigh three pounds of feet. But you expect the very big egg for this very big bird on the right. My ostriches in the road in front of us. Now all these ostriches here are girls, I can tell by their coloring. Gray ostriches are females, protect the Asian in the daytime, and the black ones are males, protect them at night. Very good family bird, very good at sharing their family duties. Or a hog in our left hand side, a little bit closer, but behind that tree stump. And a water buck up on a right, gray shag animal. The water bucks have water gloves in their coat, they'll jump into water to escape predators. Uh, their water from oils are really, really stinky. Hi, girl. Yep, another one laying up on the hillside. It's okay, girl. Uh, doing really well, Sir. I've only been over here for about a week. Doing really well. Now, up uh, here, we'll be heading towards a new area here deserve that recently had some farmers. Where I hope we will see some more animals, hopefully. Uh, speed of green spot, some more animals. I do see somebody up ahead. Straight ahead of us, should be our left hand side up on the hillside. White animals, brown necks, curved back horns are the scimitar. Horned oryx, named for their horns, shaped like the scimitar sword, Middle Eastern sword, the scimitar. Now, as orcs are a very endangered desert antelope, now they can survive up to nine months without one sip of water. And they can do that by raising their core body temperature up to 116 degrees so they never have to sweat. On our right hand side, the white birds, yellow bells, orange faces are the yellow belt storks. Carnivorous birds will eat fish, frogs, smaller birds, and snakes. So I like those birds to eat snakes, and I don't like snakes. Now, this fresh spring water here looks so good, so refreshing. Whatever you do today, try not to be an orcs. But you're a beautiful orcs. So. I drink lots of water. Now, all right, now we're going to be exiting. Off the reserve. Now, I do want to thank you all for your help in the public. Remember to do all you can do. Help pick local wildlife in your area, too. Now, I am. These are ever the same. The animals and the drivers make sure of that. Oh, you're here in the Rama Village, you want to check out Gorilla Falls, very short walking trail, see the meerkats, naked mole rats, hey, the most underwater, beavers and gorillas. Got that to be found when you exit out the truck, Bob Hill Ray. Bob Hill, you're buying strollers, and the last will be everything else, including restrooms. Third place, the last when you go back in the village. We know he's on his seen those out there, very long and very bumpy truck ride. That was both a very long and very bumpy truck ride. A little bit of a traffic jam up here, and that happens a lot. Not as often as it happens in Florida, though. 